Now we'll move on to discuss uncertainties and all readings and measurements that you take have an inherent uncertainty and good experimental design will attempt to reduce the uncertainty in the outcome of an experiment. A few key terms here which you're probably familiar with. A reading is the value found from a single judgment when using a piece of equipment. For example, if you read a thermometer temperature reading, the volume from a measuring cylinder, etc. The uncertainty in a reading is plus or minus half of the small division on the scale. I'll use this measuring cylinder to illustrate the point. This measuring cylinder is going up in increments of two centimeters cubed, which means the uncertainty here is plus or minus one centimeters cubed because that accounts for half of the smallest division on the scale. A measurement now, these are the values taken as the difference between the judgment of two values, such as if you're taking a volume reading from a burette or a ruler. The uncertainty in a measurement is therefore the sum of both uncertainties from each reading. The percentage uncertainty you'll commonly be asked is when you take your uncertainty divided by your measured value and you multiply it by 100 and then the maximum total percentage uncertainty when using different apparatus across an experiment is the sum of all the individual equipment uncertainties. But don't worry, if we actually start doing some calculations, we'll be able to understand this far better than just looking at definitions. So 90 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide was collected in a gas syringe with markings at over one centimetre cubed. Calculate the percentage uncertainty in the volume of gas collected. So here's our equation, percentage uncertainty equals uncertainty divided by measured value times by 100. So what is plus or minus half the small division on the scale? Well, that's plus or minus 0.5 centimetres cubed. What was our measured volume? It was 90 multiplied by 100. So our percentage uncertainty is 0.56%. Let's take a slightly trickier example. A student carries out several acid-based titrations and records the results. The rough run has been excluded. The total uncertainty in each burette reading is plus or minus 0.05 centimetres cubed. Calculate both the mean titer and the percentage uncertainty for the mean titer. So our first step is to identify the concordant results. That depends on your exam board, but we've identified run one and run three. So we're gonna find our mean titer first of all by finding the average of these two values to get 23.95. And then to find our percentage uncertainty, we do our uncertainty, which we've been told is 0.05, divided by our measured volume. Just be a little bit careful. Remember, we took two readings, which is why we need to multiply that uncertainty by two, and then times by 100 to find the percentage. So our final answer is 0.42%. Don't forget to be able to list ways in which uncertainties can be reduced. So we could use equipment with finer scale divisions, such as a balance that has more decimal places. Use a tighter with a larger volume when carrying out a titration. And similar to that second point, use a larger mass when weighing a solid.